We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Pill Cosby situation, okay? So what went down is that earlier today, Pill Cosby was trending all over social media. Folks were going crazy. And the reason why Pill Cosby was trending is because a new bar in D.C., um, the bar is called Diet Starts Monday. And today they sparked national outrage by having a controversial cocktail. And the cocktail was called the Pill Cosby. It was a tequila drink and it was literally garnished with empty pill capsules. So once this picture went viral, once people started talking about it, Folks went off, folks were going crazy about this. But then as you know, the internet is also sick. Folks also had jokes concerning the situation as well. I want y'all to go ahead and check out the comments, the tweets and what folks had to say about the new Pill Cosby drink. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. So after all of this controversy, like I said, a lot of people were really, really upset. Um, they also took to this um, company's Yelp page and literally started just trashing them, letting them know how they felt about the situation. The company got so much hate that literally it was a grand opening and a damn grand closing, okay? They ended up literally deleting their Twitter, but before they deleted their Twitter, they sent out this apology on Twitter. They said, the drink has since been removed from the menu. We apologize to anyone who felt offended by this. The drink was not made with any intent to offend anyone, especially not victims of rape. We take full responsibility. So to me, that's almost like, I'm sorry, not sorry. You know, this whole situation is a hot damn mess. They deserve all the backlash that they're getting. I don't find it funny. And not that I feel bad for Bill Cosby, because if he did this, he needs to be charged for this. But what I do find funny is that, you know, he's the butt of all the rape jokes. Let's not forget, it was just a year ago when Amber Rose released her emojis, and one of her emojis said, Bill Cosby, and she had, you know, Bill Cosby emojis and stuff like that. And I called her out on that bullshit, because last time I checked, Bill Cosby is not the only one out here in Hollywood raping and molesting people. It's funny that Bill Bill Cosby is seen as the face of rape, but what about Stephen Collins? I noticed nobody ever clowned Stephen Collins, aka the father from Seventh Heaven, who played a damn minister for like 10 years on the show, who admitted to his psychologist when he was being taped by his ex-wife that he molested two children who were between the ages of 10 and 12, two little girls. 
So this man was a straight up molester. He admitted on tape to molesting these girls. No charges were brought against him. They took Seventh Heaven off of TV for literally two months and then the Up Network picked them up. And since then you can watch Seventh Heaven literally every day on the Up Network. But when it comes to the Cosby show, they got taken off of TV and we ain't seen them since. I have not watched Cosby show on television in over three years. You know, so this whole situation to me is just a hot damn mess. If we're going to sit here and call out Bill Cosby and give him little fancy names like Bill Cosby and make fun of him, okay, that's cool. I, I get that. But where's all the jokes and the memes for Stephen Collins? Why was there not a cocktail for Stephen Collins' nasty ass? Because unlike Bill Cosby, this pervert was actually having sex with children. So I find it really funny how both of these cases came out around the same time, but Stephen Collins does not receive the same backlash that Bill Cosby is receiving. And I'm not saying that the backlash towards Bill Cosby is unwarranted. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that if y'all want to make him the face of rape, what about this man who did something just as heinous and he admitted it on tape? You know, so I find this whole situation crazy. There's nothing funny about rape. There's nothing funny about this drink. You know, and the fact that people made so many memes and were laughing about it, I just didn't find it funny. I found it very, very tacky. And the fact that an owner of a restaurant slash bar could come up with this drink and thought that it would be received well is insane. There's nothing funny about this and we should not be encouraging young people to think that this behavior is a joke or to think that it's funny. None of this is okay. It's not okay to put something in somebody's drink and somebody's food. It's not okay to alter somebody's state of mind because you want to take advantage of them. That is a crime and that's what people need to take away from this. That is a crime and this crime can come back to bite you 10, 15, 20 years later like it's done to Bill Cosby. So this should be the takeaway message from the situation that rape is never okay and that it's not okay to to drug anybody's food or drink so for these grown folks to come out with this cocktail and make it a joke I just found that whole situation disgusting I would never patron this bar and I don't feel bad for them at all if nobody ever patrons their bar so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Pill Cosby trending all over Twitter because this new pop-up bar called a diet starts monday decide to make a drink called the pill cosby do you think this was in good taste do you think it's just humor or do you feel like this was tacky and unwarranted and they had no business even coming out with a cocktail like this so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.